O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts its knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep he has set a pavilion for the sun. It, com- it comes forth like a bridegroom from his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edges of the heavens and runs round about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. O God, the source of all life, you have filled the earth with beauty. Open our eyes to see your gracious hand in all your works, that, rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness. For the sake of him through whom all things were made, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For anyone who is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old creation has gone, and the new one is here. It is all God's work. It was God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the work of handing on this reconciliation. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. Today, on Holy Saturday, we remember and give thanks for the moment in which Christ descended into hell. Hear a good word offered to the church celebrating this holy mystery. What is happening? Today there is a great silence over the earth, a great silence and a stillness, a great silence because the king sleeps. The earth was in terror and was still because God slept in the flesh and raised up those who were sleeping from all ages. God has died in the flesh, and hell trembles. Truly, Jesus goes to seek out our first parent like a lost sheep. He wishes to visit those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. He goes to free the prisoner Adam and his fellow prisoner Eve from their pains. He who is God and Adam's son. The Lord goes into hell, holding his victorious weapon, which is the cross. When Adam sees him, he strikes his breast in terror and says to all, My Lord be with you. And Christ in reply says, And with your spirit. Grasping Adam's hand, he raises him up saying, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. I am your God, who for your sake became your Son, who for you and your descendants now speak with authority to those here in prison. Come forth, and those in darkness have light, and those who sleep rise. I command you, Arise. Awake, O sleeper, I have not made you to be held a prisoner in the underworld. Arise from the dead, I am the life of the dead. Arise, O man, the work of my hands. Arise, you who were fashioned in my image. Rise, let us go hence, for you and me and I and you, together, we are one undivided person. For you, I, your God, became your son. For you, I, the master, took on, your for- took on your form, that of a slave. For you, I, who am above the heavens, came down on earth and under the earth. For you, man, I became as a man without help, free among the dead. For you, who left a garden, 
I was handed over to the Jews in a garden and crucified in a garden. Look at the spittle on my face, which I received because of you, in order to restore you to that first divine inbreathing at creation. See the blows on my cheeks, which I accepted in order to refashion your distorted image and form to my own. See the scourgings on my back, which I accepted in order to disperse the load of your sins, which was laid upon my back. See my hands nailed to the tree for a good purpose, for you who stretched out your hand to the tree for an evil one. I slept on the cross, and a sword pierced my side. For you, who slept in paradise, and brought forth Eve from your side. My side healed the pain of your side. My sleep will release you from your sleep in Hades. My sword has checked the sword, which was turned against you. But arise, let us go forth. The enemy brought you out of the land of paradise. I will reinstate you no longer in paradise, but on the throne of heaven. I denied you the tree of life, which was a figure, but now I myself am, am united to you. I who am life, I posted the cherubim to guard you as they would slaves, but now I make the cherubim to worship you as they would God. The cherubim throne has been prepared. The bearers are ready and waiting. The bridal chamber is in order, and the food is provided. The everlasting house and rooms are in waiting. The treasures of good things have been opened. The kingdom of heaven has been prepared before all the ages. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Creator of heaven and earth, as the crucified body of your dear Son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so may we await with him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, both now and forever. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.